Hey guys, today I want to talk about fat packs and I have fat packs all over it. I just ordered uh, 17 Eldrick Moon fat packs. I'm not really for the opening the, on the channel, although for Eric and Jeremy, I'll have Eldrick Moon. Uh, for Jeremy, I'll throw in an extra booster pack because I'm going to do shipping a little differently right now and I'll explain that in my video. But yeah, so fat, Eldrick Moon fat packs I've made a separate video about that and I like it as a long-term hold, mainly for me personally because I can always use a fat pack. But today I'm gonna to talk about investing in fat packs. Fat packs, um, if you look at Innerstrad fat pack, you look at, uh, let's take RTR boxes. They go for $80 a box right now online on Dave and Adams and various other websites. My store is about 80 a box and cash. And then the fat pack goes for $60. And you might say, okay, that doesn't make any sense. Why would people want to buy the fat pack and not the box? It's not like a Gatewatch or a Zendikar where there's an additional land packing. Well, for the fat packs, the one thing I would have to say about a fat pack uh, is it's a good size and it's cheaper, it's more affordable. And at the end of the day, people just, the people who buy fat packs are different from the people who buy booster boxes. Uh, they tend to be more casual, they tend to be collectors, um, and they tend to like the artwork of the boxes. So when I'm looking at fat packs, one of the core things I look at is the design of the box. And I can tell you Innistrad boxes are beautiful. They, you know, some of these fat pack boxes sell for $20 a piece, depending on their age as well as mainly their artwork. Innistrad fat pack boxes were very beautiful. Algic Moon, in my opinion, is even more beautiful. And therefore, I'm pretty much all in Algic Moon. Fat packs also have, you know, dice. They have things that casual players really care about. Uh, if it's their first set and they're like, oh, well, you know, my, my significant other used to play during this period of time. I wonder what it was like. Well, having a dice, having the land with the specific artwork, if you were to try to collect that land from something that wasn't a fat pack, to make a complete set, that is uh, very difficult. And the land packet actually has a significant value even if it's not full art land, because stores are willing to buy them from you so they can have it for people to draft. And I always appreciate that I'm not drafting with really kind of dirty lands and you know, it's just, you know, a high quality store is gonna have fresh land for you. I mean, that's just my opinion. So Eldrick Moon Fat Packs, love them. And fat packs in general, they just go up in value more and they're easier to ship because they fit in the uh, USPS box better. So overall, as a long-term hold, now that fat packs are no longer, I like them. I like them even more than I liked them in the past. For me personally, it's a way, one of the biggest things I had in the past was when I would buy a boost box and we would draft from my friends, I would never get paid for that boost box. Here, it's a lot harder for them to say, oh, well, you were gonna buy that box anyway. And you might say, oh, you, you need better friends or something, but that's not, that's besides the point. Um, a fat pack, it's very easy for me to say, hey, this is a fat pack, this is what it costs, are you gonna pay me? And then they will pay you. So from my perspective, what I like to do is I like to have sealed tournaments with fat packs and with my friends. It works out extremely well. Like, it's just fantastic. I feel like a lot more people are actually doing that than normal and they're casual. So for a casual player who doesn't want to buy a box, a fat pack is perfect. It has a book, it has a dice with a really cool new dice with a new symbol, it has a design, it has the lands, all the artwork from the land which was in the set. It also has, in my opinion, fantastic artwork. Some of the best artwork of Magic exists on fat packs. Yes, they're part of a card, but it's a little different when you're holding it. Eldritch Moon, the fat pack design is just so beautiful. That box is very pretty to look at. And they did a great job at it. So Eldritch Moon, I love it. Uh, Zendikar I love. Collins I love because love of Fetch Lands. Gatewatch I love. And it's kind of like gambling. Uh, where Collins is gambling, well you get a Fetch Land, but at the same time it really is I don't want to spend, you know, X amount. I don't want to have 36 gambles. I would just spend more money on less uh, chances. And that's why a lot of times when people buy lotteries, they don't buy 36 lottery tickets. They just buy nine or they buy in a small amount and they're, they're willing to pay a premium for that amount. 
So I love fat packs as a long-term hold. They are going to be fantastic. They will be fantastic. They've always been fantastic. And the fact that they have discontinued them to make something new, uh, which is kind of similar. I still love the boxes and the artwork and you know, there's nothing that I would not, um, there's no fat pack right now for the correct price. I wouldn't want to hold at this time. Bye guys.